Hi guys, I'm Matthew and uh, I'm the Decada Ambassador here at Propel. Now in this video, I'm just going to be giving you a tour of the accommodation inside a container ship. Now this is a ship I sailed on last year and I was on board for about four months. Now this was my first container ship that I'd sailed on, so it was quite different experience for me. I took this little video just going around the accommodation of the ship, thought I'd share it with you and I'll just react to it, see if it brings back any memories. Now it was a year since I sailed on board so it's been a while. I love going back and seeing all the footage and reliving life on board because there's so many memories. But before we get into the video I just want to tell you a little bit about Propel. Now for those of you who haven't heard about Propel I'd recommend you head over to www.propel.space to take a look. Now it's a really cool and free platform for seafarers that allows you to create your own digital discharge book, track sea time, certificates, tag vessels and even socialize with other seafarers. Now if you haven't signed up I definitely recommend you do, it's very easy and now without further ado let's get into the video. Okay so now just to give you a bit of background on the ship. It's actually 20 years old. So it was built in the year 2000. Uh, it's a container ship and it's quite big. It's about 350 meters long. So that's quite big, especially when you're walking around the ship. The accommodation on all these container ships is usually quite narrow and just quite tall so that they can fit as many containers on that ship as possible. But the ship was Danish built. Nowadays, it's mostly Chinese, Korean. I'll just show you. Oh, this is quite cool now, seeing everything again. This first room now, we're heading into the ship's office. When you're in port, this is where the chief mate will be, working on ballast, cargo, doing paperwork, things like that. Okay, now this is the laundry. And of course, there's about 20 guys on board, so everyone has to do their laundry, and there's a washing machine dedicated to boiler suits and the, and then there's one for off-duty clothes. But you might notice here the walls are white and of course that's boring for you guys but for me I painted that whole room white because it used to be this disgusting brownish yellow uh, so I spent a long time painting that so <laughs> it's fun seeing that again. Okay, now we're heading down the engine room. Now I don't go down the engine room, just look down there. You don't really want to go down there, it's dark and <laughs> loud and hot. But you have to understand that you're living on top of this massive engine and the noise and the vibrations and that's constant for a few months. And now it's not too bad, but as soon as you sign off and go home, you can just feel it. It's so quiet and still and it's almost too quiet. You're like, oh, this is too much. But yeah, it was fun. Okay, this room I never really understood. It was just, it's not used nowadays. I think it was used back in the day. Anyway, we're heading up now to B deck. And now this is where the dining room is. So this first room I'm showing you, that is the officer's dining room. And now the second room I'm showing you is the crew dining room. So you also go here if you're wearing any boiler suits or dirty clothes you don't want to bring into the officer's dining room. So this room here is the gym. Of course, some people like to use it more than others, but uh, every ship I've sailed on has had a gym, which is good. Okay, now on C deck, we can see my cabin. So of course, this was my little home for a few months. So it's really fun seeing again. But you, yeah, you get a bed, you get a little couch or a day bed, a desk, your own bathroom, which is good. All right, so up here now you have the crew day room. Now these rooms weren't really used that much, mostly used at like Christmas and New Year's uh, for like karaoke, things like that. Now if we go up another deck, now we're into the officer's day room. And you can see we have like a foosball table, there's a dartboard, there's a PlayStation. So we always had competitions and tournaments when we're crossing the Pacific Ocean. So we had like a darts championship, foosball championship. So th those were always fun.
Now this is probably the most important room on board. Here you have a slop chest, so you get all your snacks. There's also ice creams. Of course you have to pay for them, but it's, um, what's it called? I can't remember the name of the system. It's something like an honest, honest system. Anyway, you have to sign your name. And then at the end of the month, whatever you've bought, that's deducted from your salary. So it's just a few dollars. But you can also buy things like toothpaste, shampoo, mouthwash, just toiletries. Uh, and then there's movies that you can just take um, just to watch in your cabin, obviously, just put them back. But uh, that's an important room. Okay, so this is the conference room. Again, it's not really used nowadays, but there's a computer in there if you want to use it. There's loads of books that are all in Danish, so that's not really great for us. All right, now this was a cool place. Now, the ship I'm on, it was modified a few years ago to raise the bridge. So what they did was they took the bridge off, added three void decks and then put the bridge back on. So now you have these just empty decks. So what they did was they made these badminton courts out of it and basketball court. That's so cool. Sometimes we played it almost every day. You just go up, play badminton after dinner. Um, and then again, we had tournaments in badminton crossing the Pacific. So that was cool. Oh, but there's so many stairs. <laughs> there is an elevator though, so that's good. Okay, now this was the third void space and it was used for a ping pong table. And we did also have ping pong tournaments. Oh, now this is the captain's deck. Now he has a cabin in there, but then up those stairs is then the bridge. I don't go up there because they're busy navigating. Don't want to interrupt, but yeah. That's the tour of the ship. Um, well, it's so great to see again. It's been a while. All the other ships I've been on have been a lot newer. So what I noticed looking at this is that that ship I just showed you, it's actually very dark. And um, I don't know, the, the materials even very old fashioned. Whereas the newer ships you go on, it's these white LED lights everywhere. And the walls are white and everything's white and it's just very bright. Um, and clean but but anyway i think this ship is nice it has so much character and of course the crew is what makes it and I, we had such a good crew on board we had so much fun uh but yeah that's the second ship i sailed on as a cadet shout out to all the crew members on board we, we had such a good time but yeah that's it from me hope you enjoyed this video like subscribe see ya